And she goes, what's this? What's this? And he goes, that's me. And she goes, what's this? That's me. And she goes, what? Oh, oh. And she jumped at Liz and these guys all. Hey, it's Matt Cox and Zach, and we're doing another podcast. Only this podcast is on... Was it crazy names and pr- yeah, crazy, some of the some weird- of the, yeah some of the weird names, the nicknames that you get in prison. You know, like people don't want you to call them by their government name. Their government that way, name. that way, if you see them doing something wrong, right, you're not able to like they snitch them out by saying, you know, Matthew so Bevan st- Cox. I saw him going so in. So stupid. <laughs> you know what's wrong with these guys? I saw him spitting into the sink and not turning the water off whenever he was brushing his teeth. Yeah. You're not conserving water. What was the name? Matthew Bevan. <laughs> So, yeah, it's just the social security s- numbers. Smart <laughs> thing, smart things that inmates. Do. So, did Nick, so did you have a um, prison name? I pushed um, uh, chainsaw. Push chainsaw. Pushed did, chainsaw. It did not catch on. You when know, I went from the medium to the low, and I realized it's important to have a good, a good, uh, like nickname, kind of prison name. You know, so I got there and I, what? I pushed chainsaw. Wait, and hold up, hold up. It's just. I it, want you to think for a moment. <laughs> Who had the nickname Chainsaw when we were at Coleman? I don't know. I remember there was that dude, 21. You remember? You I, remember 20, I remember 21. You go, why did they call you 21? Because there's 21 bodies on my case. You're going to be 22. <laughs> you keep asking questions. That's it. <laughs> no problem, so, 22. Yeah, nice to meet so. you. <laughs> um, Who was Chainsaw at Coleman? That's the question Matt is asking himself. I don't, I don't know. Who is it? So I'll throw out a couple of hints. Um, white boy. Who is Chainsaw at oh, Coleman? Okay. So it's down to like 10 guys. <laughs> <laughs> so there was me, Reese, <laughs> who were the other eight guys. But one of them was Chainsaw. Probably there for, one of them was Chainsaw. Probably there for meth. Um, no. No. It's not there for meth. That's another hint. Who was Chainsaw at Coleman? When I get to hint number five, he's going to know immediately. I don't know. All right, so that's that's hit number two. Who Short was it Sheldon. What is it, Thomas? I think Thomas. Who's Thomas? Remember there was old man Tom and there was oh, yes. Thomas. Do you remember old man Tom? I remember old man Tom. Old man Tom had robbed uh, when in the seventies or eighties he had robbed several banks. Went to prison, only did a few years. Got out, robbed several more banks. Right, well, no, when he got older, he had to have a heart that's transplant. That's right. He had to have the, and he said, "I know who will give me a." A transplant. A transplant. He said, I can't, I don't have insurance. I have nobody to watch me, nobody to take care of me. How am I going to take care of myself after a heart transplant? He was like in his late 60s or something. He thought, and he goes, I know who will fix me. And he went into a bank and (laughs) robbed the bank. (laughs) He just walked in, no disguise. That's a, get rid of the money. It's like, you're you're like almost 70. Like, what are you doing? Get rid of the money. money. (laughs) And then I think he turned himself in or called himself in or something. They arrested him. He got like seven years. And, and it got and his heart. He got a heart transplant. And got his heart transplant and lived happily after that. Yeah, he had a good time. Yes, he did. It's like, hey, he knows what the insurance yeah, lies. He was, he, was, he was in the room with, with, it was old man Tom and Thomas. That's right. The little short guy, remember? Yes. He was the guy that went to prison. He was the guy that was, they were making meth and selling meth, he and his wife. And he and his wife got the, had like the same lawyer and pl- both of them pled to 15 years. And then his wife got sentenced a few hours before him and she went in. And when she came out, his lawyer said she got six years. No, she got, sorry, she got five years, 60 months. And he was like, oh my God, like we were supposed to, we were both on the same, we're both equally responsible Right. We're both making the math. We're both living in the same house. We're both selling. Like nobody ever said one of them was the ringleader. We both pled for 15 years. Right. We're, I'm going to get, oh my God, I'm going to get five years. That's great. He goes in. They said, do you have anything to say? No, I'm good. Everybody yeah. says nothing, nothing. Well, the judge says, well, after you getting your wife involved in this whole scam or this whole meth conspiracy and you teaching her how to make meth and the abuse that she went, uh, you put her or the mental abuse. And just apparently when his wife went in, she got up, 
I met him. He was doing math. He got me hooked on math. He totally got me into everything. It was all his fault. I never wanted to do it. I begged and pleaded for him not to do it. I had nothing to do with it. I happened to live in the, I I don't know why I'm even on the indictment, just completely cried and begged and pleaded. And the judge was like, I can't believe that man led you down this path and gave her five years. And then he got on and gave him 25 years, gave her the, him the extra 10 he didn't give her. So when he gets sentenced, the judge is like, he's like, do you have anything, you have anything to say? No. Judge goes, okay, well, I'm going to give you 240 months. No, I'm sorry. Uh, 300. Uh, sorry, 300. I'm going to give you 300 months. And he's like, okay. And he gets 300 months and he thinks, no big deal. Have I told you this story? He goes, he goes, he goes, okay, 300 months. Okay. So he, and his, his lawyer, he said, I remember my lawyer looking at me going, you okay? And he goes, yeah, I'm fine. That's fine. He goes, I mean, I expected it. I expected the 300 months. And so he, he, they, they put the, put the cuffs on him. The marshal does walk him back to the marshal holdover, go inside. He sits down guys that you went from the marshal, the, from the, 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 the prison to the marshal, to the holdover, like guys are sitting there staring at you and they're going, so what'd you get? Everybody that walked in after sentencing, like, what'd you get? And he, you know, what'd you get? And he goes, uh, he goes 300 months. They're like 300 months. He's like, yeah, I expected 15 years. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. So, I mean, I knew I was going to do 15, you know, and they're like, no, no, bro, 300 months. He goes, they go, that's not 15 years. F- that would be 180 months. 300 months is 25 years. He goes, no, no. He goes, it's not 25 years. He goes, I, <laughs> I signed for 15 months, 15 years. My wife and I did. They go, bro, I don't know what you're thinking. Add it up. 300 months is 25 years. And he goes, he goes, so I went, holy Jesus, jumps up, bangs on the, hey, I need to speak to my lawyer. I need to speak to my <laughs> Freaked out. <laughs> Who wouldn't? I mean, and he realized then later when he talked to his mom, his mom was like, oh, you know, your wife, you know. Cindy got in there and said that. She'd never done drugs. He goes, that fucking bitch was doing meth when I met her. We were in a fight. Like, he's like, and the whole thing she did was just complete bullshit. He goes, everything was bullshit. They, but they love to do that. That's, that's, their, that's their complete fallback. Though. Oh, the women are victims of us yeah. evil, evil yeah. men. And he was like, I should have. Like, he's like, when the judge started saying, I can't believe that you got your wife involved in all this. He goes, I was kind of like, what's he talking about? Like, what is he? What? And he's, I'm looking at my lawyer. My lawyer's like, you're, you're, the lawyer's always like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down, it's okay. Yeah, calm down. Don't so, say anything. Yeah, don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't make me work. Yes. Don't make any waves. We're going to let them yeah. bend you over right. gently. Right. <laughs> when, they, when they say it, it's okay, it's okay, they mean, I'm almost done with this. They're going to sentence you and I won't ever have to talk to you again. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. It's okay. It's okay. With this, I'm this close. To getting out of here. To getting out of here <laughs> and ignoring your phone calls for the next 25 years. So, anyway. Chainsaw in Coleman was probably about five foot, about your height. Five, six? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember him? Man, I don't know anybody five foot six. The only person I even remember is Thomas. And that's only because he was like five, two. I loved him. He was awesome. <laughs> yeah, he was. I like anybody shorter than me. So, white guy. Not in for meth. Um, like five, your height. Wait, that's the little gay guy, the little, the little pedophile guy. <laughs> James. I was gonna say lollipop. As soon as Lolli- I say lollipop, lollipop. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. They had, because one day, yeah, like, yeah, he had the lollipop. He was walking around. He was on the rec yard with no shirt on and some shorts. A little tiny short, tight ass, like had a it's had a sucking, like sucking had a, a camel lo- toe shorts, like <laughs> sucking a lollipop, and Matt's like. What the? He <laughs> even walked. He walked up. Me and Matt are out there. He walked up to us, and Matt's eyes are like this big. Like, like, what? This, he's like chainsaw. What are you doing? This guy made me. What look are you like doing? A tough guy. He made me look like a tough guy. <laughs> he goes, "What are you doing?" He goes, "What do you mean?" He goes, "You're you're in federal prison and you're in short shorts, no shirt, sucking a fucking lollipop." <laughs> like, help! <laughs> yeah, he's gonna like. Get, what else yeah, says yeah. rape me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People keep buying me tennis shoes. <laughs> Congratulations. You're like, hey, I'll send my boys to you. I oh. got you. <laughs> yeah. Now well, you remember Chainsaw. Yeah. So I, I pushed Chainsaw, but it just, it didn't. I had a guy that actually so told me. So you called yourself Chainsaw? Oh, yeah. I, I, I told you. I was, they were like, what? They're like, oh, yeah. I was like, well, I mean, my name's Cox. It's Matt Cox. But uh, um, 
thinking about pushing chainsaw and I'm thinking chainsaw. Well, that, that has a whole different meaning. And now. Guys are, yeah. Yeah. Now it does. Yeah. The guys are like, yeah, you're, you're not a chainsaw. And I'm like, no, no, I'm, let's go with chainsaw. I think they're like, no, now I did have some guys that would scream like they would see me cause they thought it was turned into kind of like a joke chainsaw. What's up? And I'd be like, what's going on, man? They go, like, yeah, <laughs> it just never took off. It just was Cox. It ended up being Cox. I know. But Matt, you don't think I'm a chainsaw? Bank of America does. Yes, Ask they them. Do. Yes, Dangerous. They, do. they think you're shredded. But Matt, how how could you take that name with that? I mean, I thought it'd be cool and you know, kind but of almost comical, funny, but it didn't take the off. original chainsaw. Man. Well, I, it was obviously clearly I wasn't thinking about the original <laughs> when thinking about lollipop. So, that should have been his name. Yeah, because <laughs> I heard he sucked. Uh, but all right, <laughs> all right, so. We're here to talk about some funny prison names. Of course, I asked some of the people that I still talk to in prison if they could hook me up with some some pretty good ones. So I, I emailed them. They emailed back. My um, friend, her name is uh, Shauna Enloe, E-N-L-O-E. Her nickname is Sweets. They call her Sweet. Sweet Enloe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We just lost 20% of the subscribers. You think so? No. <laughs> come back. Come back to get better. Come back to get better. <laughs> well, no. We get to go to the analytics and watch the dip. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? what happened? <laughs> sweet and low. That's what happened. Friggin' Is sweet, sweet and low. low a guy? No, it's a girl. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> like, this is... It's, okay, so... Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. Okay. Because yeah. yeah. she's telling me about some of the girls there. One, her last name is Poole. They say they call her City. Her nickname is City, City Pool, because everyone's had a dip. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not another in, in the ratings. Oh, no. Not another. Nobody left. <laughs> say whatever you want now. It's wide open, right? <laughs> what was that? For? Come on. <laughs> one, one more. Um, one girl's name was Sack Rider. I don't. Sack Rider. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. It's horrible. All right, but but I didn't, she didn't give me the reason for that, and I guess I have to imagine myself. All right. But, but. All right. For me, my favorite my favorite nickname was a very unattractive, stink breath, stupid guy that I met at Jessup, and we used to call him Shitbird. Ugh. <laughs> he like missing teeth. Breath could knock a buzzard off of a shit truck. Right. That's horrible. Very stupid. Just looked like a pile of crap in, in the form of a bird. We used to call him Shipper. I thought that was the funniest name that I had ever heard. What about you? No, I mean, there's, you know, you've got, there, listen, there, I've met, you know, 40 pookies. Yes. You know, there's, there's a lot of pookies. A lot of pookies. A lot of pookie. Um, I met a guy named Bunny Hop, black guy named Bunny Hop, <laughs> uh, and had like a bunny like a hopping bunny, like tattooed on his neck oh my and God. had bunny hop tattooed. And I was like, and one day I was just like, w why bunny hop, bro? He's like, man, you know, when you're a little kid, you do the bunny hop. And I was like, yeah. He goes, I was really good at it. So my mom started calling me that and it just stuck. I thought they've been calling you bunny hop since you were a little kid. You got it. And you got it tattooed on your neck. Like it was like, when I was seven. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's up? Yeah, for what, my birthday. What's your, what's your point, Cox? Um, <laughs> what's your point, Chainsaw? <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Guys, it'll be funny. Well, how many, how many countries did you? like? How many what? People called country. Oh, every white redneck was called country. <laughs> or every, big country if they were the big fat white redneck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what, what? Uh, or open the, country if they were or, gay or, and white. But, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gordo. I mean, Gordos. Gordo, oh, yes. Gordos. Mucho Gordo. Yeah. Mucho Gordo. Gordos. <laughs> um, then I told you there was the one guy, there was a guy named, I, I knew a guy, he was like almost like an albino. They called right. him, they called him a pinky because pink. he was super pink. Like he would go in the sun one day and be pink. And then he wouldn't go in the sun for a day or two. Then he'd go in the next day, turn pink. And then he'd go, like, he literally couldn't go too many days. He just had, like, no pigment. No pigmentation. Yeah. And uh, they called him, yeah, pink or pinky. Uh, who else, man? What, what about, like, so how about some that are named after animals? Like moose? Oh, I mean, moose. Any mooses? Any, Dog? Uh, oh, if, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, well, about the, I told we were laughing about the, the black man. 
Black man, yes. This dude, this dude named Black Man, so black. he was black. Oh, yes. He was Well, sh- and it, there's a lot of blacks. Do you remember black from Coleman? Yeah, yeah, there's a ton of blacks. Yeah, yeah. A ton of, not <laughs> African. Literally. African Americans, li- literally damn and it. Figuratively. There's African Americans. <laughs> But the nickname black, black, yeah, a ton of blacks, right. literally and figuratively. Yeah. yeah, well, and sometimes their last name would be black. That's yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's true. So, so. <laughs> um, what else? Do you remember black from Harmon's class with the bad breath? Gold Bro, teeth. Everybody with gold teeth. <laughs> Go, if you got gold teeth, it's just rancid. <sighs> Woo. Just disgusting. It's unbelievable. I don't know why people would put that in. In ugh. horrible, horrible. horrible. <laughs> Um, what else? What else? And then we, was, this is the, all the, uh, the guy, we always, it's the same. This is like a routine. What? Whenever, uh, wee, 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 yeah. Yeah. wee, 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 and do, doo-doo. and doo-doo. Yeah. We had a wee, wee and a doo-doo. Yeah. Doo-doo was they the were shit. Yeah. They were sellies. They were sellies. Doo-doo was the shit. <laughs> doo-doo was the shit. Doo-doo's the yes. shit. Yes. Yes. Doo-doo did, um, uh, doo-doo did legal work at Medium, right? Yes, he did. Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah. At the was medium. he good or was he, he was pretty at, shitty? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, he was, he got like thirty years or something like that. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. yes, he. Did. Uh, Reese Reese knew Doo Doo though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he argued with Doo Doo a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a. Uh, I don't know why I got Doo. I don't know why I let Doo Doo do my legal work. <laughs> Neither do I, Reese. <laughs> what was he? Uh, <laughs> like who? Who? Reece, who should I get to do my legal what's work? What's funny is, is that like Reese is my my cousin. Yes, Reese. I don't. Know, well, I had a cousin in prison, and yes. I yeah. And he was there that for math. That was Matt. the best. Like Reese was the, probably the main reason I used to hang around you guys oh, yeah. all the time. Yeah, Reese. Reese had the hookup on, on everything. 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 No matter was. what you needed, he knew. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need? Okay, hold on. I will get it for you. He'd walk off and come back and have it and get this and get that and do that. I mean, he could get anything. He he was still he had still had like and uh, his his he still had like at one point they gave you prison hats. Like you could yes. get a, a green, yes. like a That's green right. military right. issue hat. He had like four of them. Yes. Like they hadn't been. He had everything. Yeah. They, they, you, they weren't making the, you didn't, they didn't sell these hats or you get these hats for like 20 years. He's got four of them. Reese was pr- a professional prisoner. Prisoner. Absolutely. Like he could give a class in being comfortable and like making, actually advancing in prison. That's yeah. what Reese yeah. did. And how he, to come up in prison. And he, he had the, um. He also, his locker was perfectly compartmentalized. It was amazing. I mean, he had every square inch filled up in his locker, like stacked from here to there. And he, you'd say, Reese, do you have any such and such? I do. Hold on. He'd pull this out and this out and this out. And he'd reach back and he'd pull this and he'd, hold on. Okay, there. Knew where everything was. It was amazing. In one little locker. And yeah. he had tons of food he like know, i don't even know like for him to put all that in there was had, probably hours of work milk cartons boxes he would take whatever he needed to make it yeah it was it was phenomenal uh, phenomenal and the guards wouldn't search him it was strategic they wouldn't search him because they're like i'm not i'm not taking this shit out like this is insane like this is this is ridiculous pat right he said the lot the, the warden one time was going around the uh doing cell inspections and was like literally like yanking stuff out, pulling stuff out, walked into his cell, pulled all of his celly stuff out, was looking through it, opened up his and looked at it and went, <laughs> whoa, and looked at him. It's like an Ikea. It his was, was like an Ikea living room. Yeah. Everything is it's like, perfect. what but, is the, the what the, is the term for when the, the squares and the circles are all in perfect spot. Uh, symmetrical. Symmetrical. Yeah, amazing. God, that was the word right. I was looking for. So she looks at him, looks at him, and looks at the thing, and looked at him, and went, and just closed it. <laughs> <laughs> and just kept walking. No, wait, wait. She, do you know what she said? She said, she goes, this is pretty impressive. Like that. And he went, <laughs> and then she goes, and closed it, and then walked off. <laughs> but I'm glad you mentioned Reese. Only because I got to tell this story. Okay. I've never had a chance to tell this story. And it's one of my favorite Reese stories. Let's hear it. And you will. It's perfect, Reese. All right. Re- keep, was Reese, I there for that? Or? No, you weren't. Because well, Reese told me the story later. I wasn't there either. Oh, okay. So this is funny. So uh, um, <laughs> it's funny, too, because we just watched the Wes Watson. Yes. And the look like, you know, like, guy, you know, the you know, your ass, you know, is like a starfish, right? So they call him a starfish. Okay. Just so, that's what it's good. This, it, it, it all relates. Okay. Okay. No homo. 
So, okay, so here's what happened. So Reese is locked up. You know, he's locked up at one point with two other guys, you know? So they're all locked up. And the lockers, when you open your locker, one side of the locker has... Uh, it's it's got an inlay of a piece of steel and it was sharp, right? You know right. what I'm talking about? Because yes. one slows and you close the other one and then it locks. Okay, so you can't pull them open. So one's got, so it was about it was count time. They were all getting down. All, so you're talking about the bunk beds are three levels. So the guy at the very top, Reese had gotten out and opened up his locker and sat down, and the guy at the top bunk starts climbing down. And as he's climbing down real fast, to because it's they're, they're, they're counting. You have to be stand up for count. So stand up count. So as the guy's climbing down, he fucking climbs down the little, the little, um, uh, the little ladder and the fucking, that sharp piece of steel catches him right in the middle of the fuck, right in the middle of the ass. Ooh. I mean, he said, literally he dangled there for a second feet off the, cause he was like, oh! and he said, he literally, he's like, ah! and he yanked and yanked himself up. And he's like, ah, he goes, man, he said, blood started bleeding immediately and Reese was like oh my god he slammed the door he's like what's going on the guy he said so the guy's dancing around the guy's hand up on his ass right on his asshole going oh my god oh my god I hear my fucking ass, uh, uh, my ass my ass my ass and he's going what the fuck he's like there's blood everywhere bro oh he said so we're all we're all standing there like what the fuck what the fuck oh my god and he goes he said look he said wait wait he goes he goes what are we gonna do because look let me he goes so what the one cell he's saying bro we're all going to the shoe like, you can't have that much blood. Like, this guy's bleeding out of his ass. <laughs> it don't look good. Right. That's a, that, that looks like there's a rape that happened or something. Right. So he said, he's screaming. He's, he's like, did, did you, where did you cut yourself? He's like, I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. He's like, well, where is it? It's on your ass. Is it next to your ass? Like, can we, can we stitch it up? He's like, I don't know, Reese. And he's, he goes, fuck. He's like, what are we going to do? He's like, bro, you got to, um, he goes, let me, because the guy can't see. He goes, Bro, you're gonna have to. You're gonna drop have to your drop, drop your trial. pants. Drop, drop your trial. pants and bend over. Let me see. He goes, man, fuck you, man. He goes, bro, come on. I'm not playing around. This isn't funny. He goes, let me see. Let me at least find out whether you got to go to medical or whether we could fix this. Right. What, I got to know how big the gash is to see if, if it's gonna stop bleeding. Right. He goes, the other cell. He's like, got a, a, he's trying to mop up the blood and stuff. He's like, like you know, they they may probably will notice as they go by and look in your cell. And the guy's like, God, he's like, come on, let me look. I'm not fucking around. I'm not playing. He's like, I swear to God, man. He's like, I'm not playing, bro. Just let me see. He's like, Fuck. He said, the guy pulls his pants down, bends over and spreads his cheek. And, and, and Reese looks down and Reese goes, ooh, that's the prettiest little starfish. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy stood up. He's like, fuck you, mother. <laughs> he, said, he goes, it's fine. <laughs> he said, you're fine. It's a, it's a little, little scratch. <laughs> Uh, so listen, here's the funny thing. Reese goes around and guys are literally, so guys that don't know anything about this are calling this guy Starfish. He started getting everybody to call him Starfish. Ooh. So guys Without are walking telling by. telling him the story. Oh, you know, guys are walking. Like, What's up, Starfish? Hey, hey man, fuck you. What? Mother. And then they go back to Reese. And Reese, what the? He's like, man, I just told, I told like two or three people. What the? What are you doing? He's like literally everybody. And I saw him one time across the combat. And I go, what's up, Starfish? He goes, I'll beat your ass. And I was like, eh. <laughs> like some guys could get away with it, but, but not, not you, Cox. You're five foot nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. Good that's, times. That's, that's a pretty story. Ooh. That's a pretty. <laughs> pucker, pucker. <laughs> all good, right. Good all right. Times. All right. So we're trying to get some, some more funny names. You yeah. remember Sidewalk? No. Do you remember Mr. Freeze? The guy with narcolepsy that would stop? You were you were in the uh the 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 program with him. Remember you went to that special unit where you were Oh remember yeah. Remember the guy that would you said he would be he would be sitting there in a chair watching TV and all of a sudden just go, go boom boom and just on the floor. We like what the Yes. And we, he would walk across you see him walking across the compound and all of a sudden he'd just stop. And fall asleep, but he wouldn't fall. He wouldn't he fall. He'd just stand there. When he stood up, he would fall asleep, but and, he wouldn't. And then, he like, fall down. Like a minute or two would go by, and then he and keep walking. Narcolepsy. <sighs> you remember how he got locked up? How? He was in state prison and wrote the letter to. He was like, he was complaining. Oh about, no, no, no! That wasn't the guy that, no. that wrote the letter. To, to the, the president. To the vice president. Do, do you remember? Vice president. I thought it was oh, the president. It, it might have been the president. It was the president because he wanted to fuck the dog. 
Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to rape and I'm going to kill your, he said, he said something like he's going to kill the first lady and their, and their kid. This is the Bush. Like, but he was in state prison. He wanted to go to federal prison. Right. And I'm going to rape the dog. (laughs) Yes. So he's like, Hey, I know how to get out of here. I'll write a threatening letter to the president. And, and he wrote it because he wanted, he was in state. He goes, I want to do my time in feds. Right. Right. His and they'll, cellie, they'll have his, to run it concurrent. So state of Florida has no, no air conditioning. So, I mean, literally everything is soaked with sweat. Your mattresses, everything. It's, it's, it's hell. So what he did was his cellie was complaining. His cellie said, you want to go to the feds. The feds has AC. And he goes, man, I do want to go. They said, you can do your state time while in federal custody. He said, you, get you to have commit to get a, a federal, federal crime. Case. And he said, well, what's a federal crime I can commit while I'm incarcerated? And he did. Right. Wrote a letter to the president threatening the president to rape his dog and to kill him and mailed it off. And he said it didn't take three weeks before the feds like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Took him out of state prison and put him in federal prison where we thought he might have been happy. You know, when, when I was in the shoe, he came back to the shoe when I was back there. So I saw him like, hey, man, what are you doing here? He, he's like, you go, hey, I swallowed two or three batteries. Like he was, he was completely crazy. Well, now that wasn't Mr. Freeze. No, that wasn't that I wasn't Mr. Freeze. It was Mr. Freeze. No, who did this it. this guy swallowed a couple of bat. He was he, he was crazy. I you. forgot. I think his last name was Spencer or something like that. I don't know. He was, I, hey, I swallowed two or I, three batteries. I'm I like, got another guy that I know you'll remember. Who? Itchy. Yes. <laughs> I remember Itchy. <laughs> Good time. It, it, itchy had an issue with bathing. At, many things. Yes. Bathing was definitely one of them. Yes. Tem- he had a very bad temper. Yeah. He was the only one that could get away with cursing out the warden. So he would curse out the warden. It would send him to the shoe. Yeah. And the psychiatrist would go get him and bring him back out of the shoe. Put him on the compound. He could, the walk, day. He could walk on, on the, the grass. grass. Yes. We couldn't. Like you'd, go, you'd, you'd get in big trouble. Like he would walk straight across. Didn't never had to wait in line for pill line. No. Nope. Would walk straight. And everybody, like if I, there's 40 guys waiting for pill line and I go to the front of the line, like I'll get my ass beat. Like, you know, you, what's the what Pill line? Like, yes. yank your ass. Pill. Listen, Medication walked, is important. He walked straight to the front of the line and everybody, hey, hey, what's up, bitchy? What's up? Not a big guy, but he was just totally insane. He was in completely crazy. And what was his, uh, what was his tagline? You know how Bart Simpson said, what was Bart Simpson's tagline? Oh, he did have one. Uh, Bart Simpson had a tagline. What was it? Uh, I Caramba. Oh yeah, I Caramba or something. Yeah, yeah. He did have one. He had. You don't remember what it was? Oh, I do. It's gonna come to me. Why don't you tell me this pre-broadcast? I, because it was, I would. I would have had it. I rem- it, it was, I'm gonna think of this on the way home. You, I'll, I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you what. Home. I know what it is. What, oh, you do? What of is? Of course. It? I still want my dick sucked. Do you remember he said that all the That's time? Right. He, <laughs> <laughs> he the guards. Does he say that to the guards? The guards would be like, AJ, get off the grass. That's right. Get off the grass, and he'd walk, and they go, Come here. Come here. I don't want to see you on the grass again. I'm tired of calling you to the, and, and he sit there and he said, and they, and then he, they go, get out of here. And he'd go, he'd turn around and he'd go, I still want my dick sucked. And they go, it's a, it's a. And he'd he just could, walk off. Yes. He could say that to anybody. Yeah. He could he say anything to any, any insane. guard. Insane. <laughs> insane. Coleman, man. Coleman media. It's good times. It's good times. Good times. <laughs> always, always something going on. But there, there were like, we had, um, remember Bumblebee? Yes, I do remember <laughs> Bumblebee. He, he was a black guy, little about my height or shorter, but muscular. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah, nice guy. Yeah, he was. Super he was. Nice I think. Guy. I think he was in in for like. I think it, he was like one of the black guys selling meth back in uh, two thousand seven and six. Ooh, an entrepreneur. <laughs> entrepreneur. <laughs> remember Doc? An innovator. Doc, who the old man Doc? The old man Doc. Oh my God, that nose. He had the yes, long- yes. You know, he. I think he died in 2012 when I looked him up. Yeah, he was on his way out. Remember, his hands were turned blue. Yes. They yeah. just hired him in the library to sit in that little AV room and do nothing mm-hmm. and interview people all day. Boy, Doc was Doc was the first. He sold. I seen his case. He sold pills to Jeb Bush's daughter. Right. Jenna. Remember Jeb Bush was. He Jenna got, Bush or something yeah, was her yeah. name. Yes. Well, he uh, do you remember? I remember we saw his paperwork. Do you yes. remember? They. <laughs> this is horrible. It's horrible to laugh about because I know. But it, the, the description is like the one, the girls like laid out in like the woods, like with like an oxycodone on, on, on her, her tongue. tongue. On her uh, t- <laughs> it was just like 
But you know they like blame they blame him. Stage a drug, a drug. <laughs> what do you think? I think it might have been oxy. <laughs> I mean, like the pill bottles here. There's pills everywhere. One's on her tongue. It's like this is staged. I don't even believe this. It's that bad. Remember when they they said during the they they sent an undercover in there and he just touched his neck for a second. Oh they yeah. Prescribe him like like sixty oxys. <laughs> I look like you're in pain. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Pill total pill mill. Yeah. Shh. Yeah. And, and I think they got it more for the um, draining Medicaid, Medicare. Yeah, you know, that's what he got. He, he ended up like, it was like, did you, did they, they didn't get they him did. for the death. They didn't get him for the death. They got him for Medicaid or Medicare, whatever one's yeah. federal, which some one of them state one's federal. They got him for that. And then, and whenever you asked him, so how much time do you get? I got a life sentence. Well, you got a life sentence. And then you would go. Well, he got 30 years. He'd be like, I'm 75 years old. I'm going to die in here. It's a life sentence. It was like. <laughs> And it was like, well, did you do? Did you commit the Medicare fraud? No. And he was—he he told he was, me everybody, everybody, yeah. the rest of us were criminals. He was not a criminal. Yeah, yeah. He said, well, I don't know. My staff might have done something. I don't know what they yeah, were doing. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. they were. Pres- your staff prescribed all those medications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> poor, he poor had dumb. night terrors. Remember? Yes. You were selling. Wait, wait a minute. Wait How a minute. How do I remember your stories? He was his celly for a while. Yes, and and he was screaming, <laughs> and I'm up. Right, <laughs> so he's standing. An old, he's an old, he's an old man, guy. old white guy. He wasn't myself for a while, and he was in there screaming in the like, middle, middle ah! of the night. Middle of the night. Middle of the night. Ah! Ah! So I, I jumped up, and I'm, I'm like trying to wake him up, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm a big black guy sitting over this old white man screaming, <laughs> screaming. I go, they probably think I'm doing something to him. Yeah. Need to kind of stand over by the door <laughs> to avoid any problems. So yes, he did have night terrors. Do you remember what the, what they were about? Well, what I, we used screaming? to say they were demons. No, of, I of, remember you told me one time his. God, you I'm said, glad I you have a good memory. This. Well, why did we just, discuss this? Because I because I I only I'm saying like I'm remembering it now. Like I just remember because it stuck with me. Okay, well because I forgot. It was he was screaming like you bitch, you bitch, and it was his wife was trying to shove him in what. Do you remember? Was it acid? No, like a, it was like an oven or something. Like it was something like that. Like wow. we didn't quite know what it was. Like it was like she was trying to do yeah, something. He used to, to tell him. me that. He told me when he woke up what he was dreaming about. Like his, I think I told you a couple of dreams he told me about. And his wife was like the nicest, sweetest. Well, he was. Person. He was too, man. He, he was. He was an he, ordinary he, old guy. Yes, he was. He had a temper. Yeah. But he would do anything for you. If you needed anything or yeah. wanted anything, nice. he would do anything nice. for you. He just, he, he, he was honorary. He, he's had his way all his life. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that was a, an adjustment for him. That was an adjustment for him. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and to so die, you, somewhere yeah. to go to die, that was, that was horrendous. Horrible. Yeah. That was horrendous. All right, so we have a couple of names. Uh, Treetop. I'm thinking he was tall. <laughs> what about Rooster? He's a cock. <laughs> white out white out white out let me let me tell you a, that, that's that, that that there was no white out at, at coleman this was at jessup oh okay the guy's name was white out white out got a black eye <laughs> while we and, and he blacked out that's how like the guy hit him so hard he said he blacked out so we're like white out blacked out yes so he was he was at I think he owed someone money or something. We were at Jessup, and an old guy, Whiteout was one of those. He was like you, a little bit. He, he when he get mad, he'd get loud or he'd get aggressive sometimes with people with absolutely no fight in him at all. You like, hey, hey, listen, dude. You know what I'm saying? He, he, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything, but right, I'll, I'll get right. loud. Oh, and oh you, yes, you think he might? I might snap. Yes, but, yes, that's how he acted. Yeah, like, like he, he very sarcastic. You know, at at times, I like him. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. White out was cool. Very sarcastic <laughs> at times. So at one point, I guess he was talking to someone in Unicor that, that kind of he was kind of over his section, and he's talking. It was a white guy, and the white guy punched him like punched him super hard. In fact, White out told me he was holding his coffee cup. He had something in his hand and he dropped it. And he was kind of like, wait a minute. Like, let me pick up my, instead of like getting ready to fight, he's kind of like, oh, I dropped my coffee. <laughs> you get disoriented. You know, you're like. Hold on a second. Let me grab my coffee. So that, that's just the kind of a story I remember about White. I guess it's not that funny. I, I don't know what it is. Why do they call him White Out? Because he was extremely pale. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. All right. There's a guy named, yeah, go ahead. Pork chop. Didn't you know pork, a pork chop? Oh, I knew a pork chop. I knew a pork chop in the, in the meat, in the, uh, in the low, I knew a pork chop. Oh, well, tell me about your oh, pork God, chop. Bro. He was, it was, I was, he was, I was sellies with him for a while there too. He, he had one, he was, of course he was overweight. Yes. Pork chops are always overweight. Yes, so he are. was really overweight. He was like a, what gang was he in? He'd been in, in prisons his whole life, by the way. I remember his stepfather murdered his mother and like his brother or sister when he was like 12 or 13. And he got stabbed several times. He just didn't die. Wow. So the father was dead or in prison for life or something. He was just gone. And then so what, by the time this kid's like 14, 15 years old, he's in prison. Uh, out of prison, in prison, you know, like in and out of prison his whole life. Right. Uh, had been in state, had been, and then this, he got this federal prison sentence of like 20 something years. And he, uh, yeah, he had, and he had sleep apnea. So he had to wear the machine, right? And he wouldn't wear it. He snored so loud. Ooh. And I would bang on the bed and go, come on, bro, pork chop. Come <laughs> on, bro. And he'd go, blah, blah, blah. and then he would put it on. He would, it, this is what it sounded like in the middle of the night when he would fight with it. It would be going, it would be, no, wait, how would it go? Yeah, it was like, and he would grab it. And when he put it on his face, it would be like, and he would like, and, and then, then silence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd suck on but you could, and then in the middle of the night, he'd take it off and you could hear him. Like, it was like a, he was wrestling with it all night. <laughs> So it was either snoring or him, you know, and he looked like a, you know, he, he looked like a, like a fighter pilot with it. You ever seen things? Like they got straps and everything yes. dangling off the side. And, and yeah, it was, uh, yeah, he got to stay in the unit all day. Like he just, God, he just complained and, and, and he, but he was, he was a nut job. He was a complete nut job. Uh, one, I remember, yeah. Listen, he was he was nuts and he's like always had a knife and was always ready to fight and he was bipolar. He was always screaming and hollering. <laughs> I'm, but he was nice. He was he was actually nice to me, but he would get crazy and, and um, ate all the time. I mean, just he just he, he was like a feral child. Like he had no he couldn't anything he bought was gone. Like if he got five bags of potato chips, like they're all gone. Immediately. Immediately. He'd eat them for the next straight for all all night long. It's like you just got back from chow. You know, just Well, our our pork chop, the pork chop I had at um Jessup <clears throat> was a a guy, he was kind of he was kind of overweight, but he was some kind of like gourmet gourmet prison chef. Yeah. Like it, not only was I've the had food, good food oh prison. my god, not only was the food delicious, but it was pretty. Like when he designed a bowl, like the the rice would be in one corner at attention. <laughs> the beans would be perfectly set up with the meat in a certain area. And he'd tell you, look, look don't don't eat it separate. Blend it together counterclockwise. <laughs> Perfect flavor. Like he cheesecake that was unbelievable. Yeah. Like he would buy an ice cream and let it melt. And that's what the liquid he'd use with the um with the um the coffee creamer to make cheesecakes that were I'm talking, he made a marble, like a raspberry marble cheesecake that looked like something you'd get from the Cheesecake Factory. You, you'd see it, and and he'd cut you a perfect slice with a little parsley or something on the top. Hey, hey, yeah. You're, you're like, pork chop, huh? Yeah, they would make like, cr they'd make crust out of, um, cookies. out of cookies. So they make crust, and then they mix it with something, they would bake it, like or in the microwave, and it would be hard. Yes. Like, it'd be real hard, like like crust. Yes. You know, and, and then they would, yeah, they could, they, they would substitute all these, like, you're, it's not like you're going to the store, you're buying all this stuff from commissary, but they would substitute, like, you're really eating cheesecake in prison, even iced and everything. It, it looks amazing. It would, it was really, it was creamer. Yes. Right? It was creamer. It was creamer. They take coffee creamer like and the, milk or, or, or like he had ice cream or water and they'd mix it all together. And then they would, they would either, 
make it hard and fluffy, or and they'd add in M and M's, or he he used to slice Snicker. He would take a Snicker and freeze it with ice, put it on ice, and then slice it. And listen, my unbelievable. Mouth is watering right now. Unbelievable. What pork Ridiculous. pork chop was a cook that you'd be like, oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah, he, yeah. He was, he was unbelievable. Yeah. Light skin, heavy set some- guy. Took pride and 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 always told you how to eat it. Don't no 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 don't start at the back. <laughs> Look, eat the little part. Listen, like, listen. In call in the medium. Do you remember the medium? Because in the in the low, they didn't do this. In the medium, they had. I mean, they have stingers in the low, but this stingers were everywhere in the medium. And what they would do is they would take a the garbage garbage cans. Yes, they, weren't, they take that the garbage cans, super hard plastic, right? And they would pour fill it up with oil, and they put the stinger in there, and they would deep fry. They'd make wraps. They call yes. them wraps. What yes. do they call them out here? Uh, like burritos, like burritos? Like, uh, they call them wraps there because they, so they would make like chicken burritos yes and they would deep fry them and they would pull the mattress off the top bunk and there were guys that like took orders all week long and then friday night would come and they, they would have a hundred or two hundred of plates. them all in it guys They'd would have show styrofoam up styrofoam containers people coming Stolen from, from other the units. kitchen yeah they people steal coming from other u- units to pick it up yes yeah they, they had restaurants yeah they had like little restaurants that you give it you like you know hey man can i get to they go did you put in an order well no, no i didn't put it i'm bad we can't i can't bro i'm, I'm, I'm short sorry. i'm already sorry. short yeah, yeah and you're like <laughs> what's going on man this is pretty like give me one of those orders. no I'm, i can't bro that's pookies <laughs> it's pookies. you know how pookie gets <laughs> that's pork chops oh no no i'm not gonna touch don't touch pork chops food <laughs> You know that kind of stuff. It, it was it was like it's like being in a small city within a city. Yeah, and 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 it's called knowing like the fact that they know their environment enough to know who's working when that allows them to cook. You're like, oh no, yeah. are you kidding me? Such and such is working tonight. Yeah. You're gonna be able to cook shit. Yeah, yeah. Or they like, tell, tomorrow or, night. Yeah, or tomorrow tattoo. Tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow night is wide open, baby. It, you'd have <laughs> some guards would come in and immediately like take your stuff and take the tattoo gun and take the ink and do this and write up another shot. Other t- other COs would walk in and watch. Yes. And be like, yeah. Going. Spend the whole day out on the on yeah. the balcony smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Like, who gives a fuck what's going on in there? Right. <laughs> I, I've had I I've, had, I've come in the unit one time and it's not like a restaurant yeah. like they have multiple people I'm like what the hell is going on in here good stuff it's yeah. wide open <laughs> I had uh, do you remember De Geronimo yeah I do for some yeah, reason yeah yeah he was a he was an Indian but he was a member of the, the pretendians the, yes. the fake Indians yes um, for the tobacco yeah for the tobacco <laughs> yeah they, they you, you say you're an Indian and then you get to Basically, they have like inside the federal prisons, they have a little area where they get to pretend to be Indians like once or twice a week and they do little rituals. But what they do it for is they get tobacco. So they get so much tobacco to smoke for the peace pipe. And so they pretend to be Indian. So but he painted. And I remember one of the COs wanted to get a tattoo and actually had some artwork and liked it and brought it to De Geronimo. He goes, can you make this better? Because he tattooed. And Deidrana goes, he goes, give it to me. Let me, let me take it. Oh, yeah. He and was he, an awesome he, artist. He was I remember that. Artist. He redrew the whole tattoo and it was phenomenal. Then the guard came to me and showed me, he goes, do you think you can improve on this? And I looked at it and I went, no. Who drew this? And he goes, Deidrana. I said, bro, I can't touch this. This guy's amazing. Like I can't, I can't even, what am I going to change on this? This is phenomenal. It was handcuffs. And a print, like he did this whole for the CO for the CO. The CO then went outside and got a, a, another artist. Not he would have let De Geronimo do it. Oh, there was a. Uh, this is Coleman Medium, right? There's a medium. I think yeah. I know what CO you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Who's kind of a, a little bit overweight? He was a uh, forget what they called him. He was actually like he was Middle Eastern. Everybody yes. thought he was Puerto Rican, but he wasn't. He was actually Middle Eastern. He was cool as hell. Yeah, he was super cool. Um, Oh man, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, Dijeronimo one time did a yeah, big accent too. I think koi I fish on his like this guy did a whole koi. F- it, he did like a, we're talking about a whole body. Like this is artwork with prison prison junk that is lo- that looks professional, like you couldn't get on the street. And D, you know, it costs you two thousand dollars on the street. Dijeronimo would do it for like okay, I need fifty dollars in commissary. You know. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I'm trying to think, what's some other prison names? What are some? We, we got a bunch of them. Um, well, I told you about Pickle Puffer. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking he was gay, right? Right. So well, not. I mean, not openly, but <laughs> <laughs> but he never explained how he got that name. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. No, I'd have to change prisons. Chick- like, <laughs> I, you can't. No, no. Uh, chicken wing. 
chicken, chicken, chicken wing. Chicken wing had the is he he was yes. the guy that had like yes his, the little little arm yeah the he little, had a deformity yeah <laughs> they, they that, that's how that's listen you want to talk about about being concerned about people's you know out here it's all like oh don't say that you hurt his feelings you can't call him this you got to call him this no, we, they we called a it. dude named Chicken Wing they called him Chicken Wing yes horrible. Yeah, horrible. We lean into their shortcomings there. People like, they accept them. Were you there when the guy, they called them like, they call him like, they called him like 6'9 or something. He was like 6'9. Yes, foot nine. I remember 6'9. Man, it's amazing all these names are, like we just lived in this environment and 6'9. Oh yeah, I remember him. Do you remember when, what, when they patted him down when he was leaving the chow hall? Yes. <laughs> and he was loaded? <laughs> no, he wasn't. This was it. it oh, I think, he he wigged out. No, I'm talking to this female CEO. They're all walking out. They're all being patted down, patted down. Boom, 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 boom. And she pats him down, and she goes to the inner thigh, and she goes, "Whoa, what are you doing?" And she goes, "He goes what?" And she she she's grabbing his his dick, and she goes, "What's this? What's this?" And he goes, "That's me." And she goes, "What's this?" That's me. And she goes, "What?" Oh, and she jumped at listen, these guys all supposed I wasn't there, but they went nuts laughing. And she goes, Get out, go, all of you, just go, just go. He's tugging on his Johnson and he's like, That's me. That's me. Like that He was six nine, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, was, he was she was huge, yeah. And he was a big guy. Like he wasn't tall and skinny. He was a pretty yeah, he, big he was solid huge. guy. Laid laid back, calm, demeanor, everything. Yeah. Six nine. I, I think I do remember. And hung. Story. And hung, obviously. Apparently. <laughs> like, what's this? Yeah. What's this? <laughs> I think she said, I don't know if she said this. Like, I don't know if she, she thought he was saying, that's meat or something. Well, that's or meat. He might have been. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's meat. meat. This is meat. Let me see this meat. <laughs> I'm dying to show you. When do you meat. get out? <laughs> uh, what was the other? Oh, man. Who, come on. Who else? Who else? You think, why oh, do I have to remember shit. all these names? You know my memory's bad. You're the one that's bringing up all the stories. I'm trying to think. <laughs> You know what's so funny? In the, in, it's like in the low, I saw, like, <laughs> I've seen guys. This is funny. Like, I saw as much, if not more, there was more stuff in the low happening, like fights and stuff than there really was. In the medium, if there was a fight, it was serious. Like, somebody got seriously hurt. Yes, there wasn't a lot of fights at no. Coleman Medium. No, but it was the, not. In the low, there were fights, but, like, nobody ever, like, got seriously hurt. But, like, there's, there's guys getting cut with razors. There's guys at getting— At the low? There was a guy called—they called him—well, uh, there was two guys. I'll tell you. One guy was called Porn Star. They, they, and the COs called him Porn Star, which I thought was I hilarious. Was, I think that that's the classic. It's a good name. When, when the COs call you by your yeah, that's re- name. You know what that you is? Graduate. You know that, you're, you're elite. That's respect. That's right. Right. That's right. So the COs are like, Porn Star. What's up with it here? Well, what you need? What, man? What you need? I'm just minding my own business here. Porn star had his neck fused, okay? Like, he was no porn star. It was not because he was <laughs> a formerly a porn star. Okay? Right. This guy was like five foot three, had his neck fused, walked around like this all the time. What, what, what? And they would call him porn star because he had all the nudie mags. Good for him. So, he, so you get, like, nudie magazines. And the guys will get, like, a real, maybe a real, you know, they got some. They got extremely explicit porn, uh, right. p- uh, porn mags, and then they make copies of them. Well, they ta- they put tape over them, so the guys, you know, take or them in the shower, take them in the shower, or and if they if can get them wet, and if something happens, yeah, they, they can, can wipe it off. Right. So reusable, right. recycle. Go right. Ahead. So <laughs> porn star, he rented out the magazines, like right. for like a book of stamps. You got to keep the magazine, and it had maybe fifty or sixty pictures or whatever. You got to keep it for like a week. You know, you romance her. You know, for you have like a, you have like a, a nice little week. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. me and my girl. So some of them girls you fall in love with, but go yeah. ahead. And then, um, and then there was a guy they called. His name was Truck. So Truck rented. Um, urban, urban, uh, um, novels, uh, urban novels. So one day truck rented an urban novel for whatever it was like, it was, it literally, it's like, like for like $3 or, you know, six stamps or something. You get to keep it for a week. You could read it in a week. So like a week went by and he had a little ledger and he comes to the guy's thing and said, Hey man, it's supposed to return that book yesterday. And the guy was like, 
I know, man, I let my boy um, borrow it. He, he, uh, he packed out or he lost it or he got whatever. Got to tell you, he's like, nah, man. He's like, that, 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 that book's, that's 15 bucks. You owe me $15. He's like, man, that thing, that thing's been around forever. You got your use out of that thing, man. That thing's old. I, you had that for you. He's like, what are you talking? I got to replace it. It's 15 bucks. Man, I, I, they start arguing. Basically, finally, the guy, the truck was little. Finally, he, he's like, ah, go fuck, fuck off. You ain't going to fucking do nothing. Fuck you. And he's like, truck goes, all right. Walks back to his, uh, his cell. But gets a lock. Gets his uh, whatever, maybe his belt or a, a, a you know, a, a, a sock. Ties it up. Ties it around his thing. Get, puts it in his hand. He's got himself a little bit of length. Walks in there. Guy's laying in bed. Not even thinking anything of it. Walks up. Whack, whack, whack. And I mean, that dude yanks him off the bed. Beats, listen, blood everywhere in, inside this little cell. These cells are small. Like, and there's blood on the wall. I mean, he, that, you could hear that dude screaming and hollering. That guy climbed. Oh, they were, they were, you know, they were like, um, cubicles. Right. So the wall doesn't go all the way to the top. It goes up about five feet. This guy literally, he couldn't get out because tr- truck was in the way of the exit. So he jumps up and jumps over the wall, blood everywhere. Truck was also about to go to, um, camp. No, he did go to a camp, by the way, too. Because I remember after the whole thing, like I hear the screaming and everything. You see the guy running off. I mean, he's got welts and cuts all over because you know a lock will mess you up. You get these little, these little circular uh, cuts all over your body. Yes. He takes off running. Um, anyway, I don't know. I want to say that guy because I remember the guy's whole eye was red. His whole one of his whole the entire eye was just bloodshot red. Cut like he hung out for a couple days. We saw him around, like in the in the unit, like trying to stay stay away from the CEOs. Eventually, they grabbed him, and I kept thinking, "Well, they grabbed him. They're gonna get. They're gonna get. They're gonna look at the cameras. They're gonna." But half right. them cameras don't even work. No, that, or, or someone. Yeah, or well, someone. They, they, gonna, they got the the, the two legged cameras, right? So. Or so, one of the inmates is gonna tell on them. And look at the at the. It was not at the medium. You could do something like that and not have it catch up with you. Literally at the low, it's catching up to you within hours. It's that bad. Wow. N- never caught up with him. He actually, like two weeks later, he was put on a bus and he went to a camp. The, and the other guy got grabbed and put to the shoe. Never said anything. And wow. I, but I remember going to, like a couple days later, I went up the truck and I go, bro, what are you doing? He's like, what? I go, you're going to a camp. They just put you in for a camp. He's like, man, dude disrespected me, man. You heard how he, I can't let him talk to me like that. I said, what do you give a shit how he talks to you? You're going to a camp. He said, I don't care. I don't care. You ain't nobody talking to me like that. I was like, all right, you know, well, like I <laughs> truck keep the laid, book. truck laid, but keep the book. truck's a laid back guy, but yeah. he's like, I'm not gonna take yeah. that. And you know what's funny? Like when he packed out, like he couldn't take half the books he had. You're losing half the books you got anyway. What are you doing? <laughs> they only, you know, when you pack out, they only let you. You can take ten bucks. You can take four socks. You can take like you can only take so much stuff. So he couldn't even take half. He's the got a hundred books. What are you gonna do? Well, You're he leaving. Didn't, he didn't have any consequences, so he yeah. Like, of yeah, course, he, didn't like, know. He, he wouldn't have known the consequence of that. So, yeah, but these guys, they get you know, they they have that whole respect Men, to that mentality. mentality. Yeah, yeah, but but like sometimes it can get out of hand. There's certain things that come on, Matt. You you got into it in a TV room about hey, hey. we're changing. <laughs> that was <laughs> this, I was this, never gonna do certain, anything. I know, though. but there's certain limits that you, like you've got to set I'll some right boundaries. Up, I was going up to the right edge. to the line. <laughs> I'm not going over. <laughs> um, hey, what about, do, do you remember um, the CEO? Hold on. You're, uh, keep it real? You ain't keeping it real. <laughs> keep it real. <laughs> do you remember, Forgot about it, yes. Do you remember when a guy slammed him? I, got I heard about up. that. Yeah. I heard about it. Well, he, yeah. And, and, and both of them still stay. Like, keep it real. Like, he's been in multiple, keep it real, been in multiple fights. He I think tiny, he likes it. He tiny was tiny little Puerto Rican Sh- guy, the uh, Puerto Rican guard. He was cool. Yeah, super because, cool. Because he would he would come around and catch you. He'd be like, "Hey, y'all need to fire your lookout boy. If I'm able to come up here and see this, your lookout needs to be fired." <laughs> like, hey, he's right. You're fired, asshole. He was funny. <laughs> he's short, and you didn't see. Shit, you know, he was funny. He was, and and that was his 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 uh, catchphrase was uh, "You ain't keeping, you ain't it, keeping real. it real." Like, yeah, yeah hey, hey, hey. 
Man, you know, you, no, no, see what happened. Goes, no, keep it no, real. I'll keep it real now. You ain't keeping it real now. <laughs> you ain't keeping it real. You know you ain't supposed to be out here. Keep it shoes. real, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, all the COs called him keep it real. Hey, who's working tomorrow? Keep it real? Yes. <laughs> Listen, the, the, the COs were, were ridiculous. They would get into fist fights. They would get into arguments. Oh. Remember? Do you remember Fed and... Do you remember Fed? You know Fed's son uh, came to work. He worked at the low. Really? So there was a guy, there was a CO named Fed, F E like F E D. His name was Fed. Was it D D? It might be D D. Yeah, F E. Yeah. So I kind of remember. Was he white guy? No, black guy, tall, thin, super quiet, very nice. He got into a fight with another CO. Yeah, he got into a huge argument. They never got into a fight, but they literally were saying, like both of them, like let's in the parking lot. Oh, there were multiple in the low. There was we had a CO that came in. And, and like the first day, you know how when they tr- change the COs per every quarter, they rotate the COs. He came in. He had just been assigned from the medium because, and he and so he, first day when he comes in, you know, someone will give a talk. All right, everybody. I know you guys already heard about me. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fair. And he gave a little talk. He said, and also, if you've heard that I'm not at the medium anymore because I was in a fist fight with another CO in the, in the uh, in the parking lot, that's true. But he had it coming, and I don't want to hear anybody say anything uh, other uh, any, any anything something you know disparaging about me. He said because I beat that motherfucker's ass, <laughs> and I'm here going. This is this, this is where I'm at. The, C, the grown men, the yes. CEOs are fighting each other. Yes. They're like half of them were addicted to, to, to um, oxys. Oh, of course, um, they're they're all they're all drugs sleeping, yes. sleeping with each other, yes. sleeping with yes. the, 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 the girl. The, the professionalism the, and it, it only it's di- di- digressing more and more and more. It's just getting because yeah. there's no time to train them. Yeah, like I've I've been to the website and they're like we're hiring, come in and get in a great career. Like they they pay them excellent money overtime. I, I learned I learned like I respected them when I was at the medium. Because I thought they were maybe professionals. Right. But then I kind of, ref- when I went to the pen, I realized, like, these people aren't professional at all. No. Listen, in the pen, they were hiring these black girls, hood and ghetto as hell. Ghetto as hell. I remember one, I'm trying to remember what her name was. Because she was saying, she goes, man, my paycheck was $1,000. Like, she's like, she's like, I've never made that much money in my life. <laughs> look, look, there was, there was, a, ch- there was a, a lieutenant at the, at the medium. No. Lieutenant at the low that had been at the pen and was under investigation at the pen. And so they sent her to the medium. So she was under investigation at the pen because she was sexually harassing a CO underneath her wanting to sleep with him. And he kept saying, like, look, I'm married. I'm this I'm that. I'm, you know, I'm just got married. Like, I'm in love with my wife. And one night she got drunk. And they, she got pulled over and the cops, of course, they don't, you know, they're like, they're all, they're all cousins, you know? So yeah. they're not going to, I'm not going to give you a DUI, but you can't drive away. Call right. somebody. She called a few people, but it's late. She texts this guy at two o'clock in the morning and says, look, come get me. I'm here. I, I, I need you to come pick me up. I'm drunk. The cop's going to let me, someone come pick me up, but I, I need you to come pick me up. The guy texts back, I can't. It's 2 o'clock in the morning or 1230 or 1130 at night, whatever it was, inappropriate for you to be texting me. Text him, and he says, I can't. I'm with my wife. She goes, I'll make it worth your while. I'll suck your dick. And oh. she texts him. The wife finds it. She says, we're getting a divorce. Or you're going in and you're filing a complaint and you're showing them this tomorrow morning. He went into work. Boom. She's been doing this for a while. I could show you texts that she sent me. Here's wow. this. Last night she sent me this. So they scooped her up and stuck her in they, under investigation, put her in the low. Like they don't, they they don't, don't lay off. Yeah, they don't, they're not, they're not going to investigate it. Right. Hey, well, y'all separate for a while. Let's see what happens. Right. Well, just make sure you two aren't at the same. I mean, it's like. You know, ridiculous. And you're still in the same complex, but yeah. you're not going to be at the same institution where she can have influence over what you do. Right. So and she's not going to be able to call over there and if you're a supervisor and say, hey, get that dude to hell. She was horrible. <laughs> she was a horrible, horrible. I mean, she walked around and just tormented guys. That's because of her rejection. Yeah. I, but I'm not, I mean, mean, just a mean person. Yes. Like just, just would walk over to you. You know, you're sitting there eating and she would walk over. I remember, ooh, 
reverse discrimination. She was a black chick. I'm sitting there and they would give away pies, right? You remember how you get the pies and some guys were like, I don't want my, but there were pies piled up. Like they don't want them. Right. So I had like three pies. So I sat there one day and I ate a pie. Now there's a black guy sitting next to me. He's got four or five pies, right? Also, he's finishing his pie, literally eating his pie, fin like finishing it. And I'm sitting there finishing. She walks up. She goes, you're done. And I went, ma'am. And she goes, you're done. Let's go. I went, I'm, I'm still eating. And she goes, she goes, you got three pies there. This guy's got like five pies. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, I'm, and I look and he's sitting there eating. It's just like his second or third pie, you know, and he looks at her and she goes, you're done. Let's go now, now. And I went, yes, ma'am. I stood up and went to grab the pie. She goes, leave them. Cause you know, <laughs> I'm ready to sneak them out. <laughs> <laughs> they would never check me. You know, they, 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 they check all the black guys. Two, no. two. Like, <laughs> So, Where, where's the reverse discrimination? But go ahead, go ahead. She go let ahead. him stay. She well, 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 what about me. not she getting hated checked, me. white boy? She go hated ahead. What about me. not getting checked, white boy? Listen, listen. This was an ice in this event. Okay. Usually, it works for me, right? Which I'm okay with. All right. I see. So <laughs> I get up and I have to leave. She let that guy sit there. Yeah. I, I went up good, to him later. I said, good. "Did you see that?" He's like, "Yeah, no." He said, it "Sucks, doesn't it?" <laughs> <laughs> good. I say good. Yes. <laughs> Pies were good. This was good pie. So yes. Uh, um, did, did you ever get the biggie cookie? Uh, 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 big big babies. The big cookies. The like one. Oh, at Coleman. Yes. Yes. I remember those. They came in boxes. Oh my god. Yeah. They stole a bunch of boxes. Oh, are you one kidding time me? The, the macadamian. Yes. They, they the, the, the red the velvet. And yes. Red velvet. Yeah. And with the white chocolate. The yes. Chunk. They said the red velvet one. Oh my God. Yeah, yes. they, listen, you, you have no idea. Like if you go, you go months and months without having like a cookie, like a real good cookie or, or ice cream or something. When you get it, it's like a little taste of freedom. Yes. I mean, you can't imagine how you're like, this is dudes are fighting over this. That guys were buying guys are buying. They'd have 10 or 15 of them. They're buying them. Guys are stealing boxes out of the, out of the um, chow. They had a, they could steal out of the chow hall too. Yes. Like oh, they, at, the, at the low. Uh, sometime the medium, they had it down. Oh my God. It was, yeah, yeah. it was a profession. Yeah. In fact, when I, I worked in the kitchen a short time and they would tell them, Hey, get your mules up here. You know, like I want everything that's leaving here to leave here before they start to chat. Yeah. So on pill line, their mules had to be up there. People are like, Hey, make, they tell the compound guys, go tell Bob. It's all money. Yeah. It's like the, the compound guys were messengers. Go to E2, tell, tell Titty that I need him down here at 3 o'clock <laughs> before they start child line. Tell him to sneak out when they call pill call and get on up here so I can get him in shit. What's, he, what's, go, he, go a dog, he, go, he go a couple of stamps. Thank you, dog. I got you. <laughs> Do you have any more? The names? No, I, I mean, they're all like honky. Come on. <laughs> they called, but that wasn't your nickname? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yeah, it's so uh, it's so funny that like they the the, the names are just so bl like you would never call like Fat Man you'd yeah. never like on the street hey well, who Fat would Man take, who would hey. take that name right but those people offered up those names like they go hey what is your name what do they call you they call me Fat Man you know yeah yeah that's what you know and, and you say hey I was just about to do that yeah I said I came in I said you know chainsaw they went no no <laughs> no chainsaw I'm I'm no. That that see for me paper cut for every paper cut is better <laughs> for everybody else that's cool for me that is a horrible that only brings to mind a lot of because because at the time you're like chainsaw yeah. you're like come on chainsaw yeah I listen I got I ended up getting it was it was just Cox it's Cox, Cox. that's it it was and, Cox I was never it never yeah it's, it's, yeah it's not your name <laughs> you don't have a good name that's the good Zach is that's because you say Zach like you don't have a good name like I. You know, the problem is you have to have, like, you have to have, they're, they're like street guys that get those names. Right. You know? And, like, I, I just couldn't. It, it fit, it, somehow it fit their personality. They blend into it, and, and you learn to accept that's who they are. And there's always, there's always someone in the unit that knows them by their street name and their government name. You ever been in a mail call? You know, they go, Thomas Wilburn. Hey, Paul Cha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matthew Cox. Hey, Chase <laughs> You got mail, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Good times. Good, Good times. Time. We should go back. <laughs> God. 
so horrible. Um, yeah, I can't think of uh, God, commissary, and just just so horrible. <laughs> just such a horrible existence. Commissary, well, yes, going to commissary sucked. Yeah, having commissary didn't suck. So you had to go through the grocery shopping doesn't suck. No, nah. going to commissary sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. Having commissary doesn't suck. Get up to the windows. <laughs> they, you get up to the, they don't have it. Hey, well, you didn't give me my ice cream. We don't got that ice cream. No, no, no. I, okay, you don't have it. Okay, well, can I get chocolate? Can I get chocolate? No. You didn't put down chocolate. No substitutes. Yes. Yeah, we, yes. Well, you, 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 you had pe- butter pecan. It's like I'm you spending got, money. I'm like, spending. Who gives a F? What's funny is you're staring at like the chocolates right here. Like you're like. I can see the chocolate right there. Give me the chocolate. Give me the <laughs> guys that bang me. You better get out of here right now. Because yeah. they're get... saving it for somebody. <laughs> guy touched the window. There was a, a chick yelling. There was a chick they called. They called her. Uh, what did they call her? Barbie doll? No, they called her. Um, oh, Commissary Barbie. Commissary Barbie. They called her like Commissary that. Barbie. Blonde Hick. Banging multiple guards, she would yell and scream at these guys in the window, and, ah, and she was yelling at this guy one time who was a doctor, and she's screaming and hollering at him, and he goes, he puts his finger on the thing, goes Shh, like that, and she goes, <laughs> get out of here, <laughs> he goes, he he, he Shh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't, there's a window, you can't touch her lips, but, but he, he acts he like he's touching her lips, <laughs> ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> Good times. Good. Why do you keep saying that? That's <laughs> moments. Good moments. Not good times. <laughs> moments. Good moments. Because oh, we man. laughed a lot when we were there. Oh, man. Oh, like, yeah, all yeah. the time. We were... It was It was hilarious. When, and it, it was always something going on. There was a story. Did you see what happened yesterday? Yeah. You know what I'm you, saying? It was... You know when it became horrible? When? What, it's, although there are some good stories. Um, when uh, uh, K2... Hit the, he started hitting all the compounds. So K2 is a, a, a substance. Like, I don't know if everybody knows what it is. It's basically it's like what? It, it's, it, they could, it, it's a chemical compound. Right? And they could spray it. On they paper. Spray it on paper. So they're just, you just get your mail. And it's like it's on the second lower, the lower left-hand corner of the second page. So some guy would call somebody and say, yeah, I'm sending in some stuff. It's on the lower left. Oh, okay. And then they get, they get it and they get it. And now I've got a little sheet and they would cut it up and roll it up and they'd smoke it. And it was these, it was horrible. Debilitating. Like, yeah. It, they couldn't even move. Yeah. It, somebody, I heard it was like bug spray or. Yeah. Yeah. That was the, the big thing. Guys, who knows? Rat poison and yeah. all that stuff. And so you would. It, very addictive. So I'd be, you'd be in the bathroom, right? And guys would be on the ground, like acting like they're swimming. I mean, and you know, there's, there's piss on the ground. This is, this is, this is not like the bathrooms at the medium or the pen. This is a wide open six toilets for 180 guys. And some guys laying, some guys crawling through all the, all the, with a toilet stall, you know, trying to swim. You're like, the fuck's going on? And they're, uh, or they're, or they think they were on fire. Yes. That was an epic, that was an epidemic so bad. They were rushing those people to the, to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, 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 listen, there were guys that, that had like brain emb- uh, embolisms and, and all kinds of problems. Funniest thing I ever saw. Well, not funniest, but this was pretty funny, though. One time there was a guy where, where you could tell like where I was in the TV room and I could you could tell all of a sudden you could see all these people. You, could, you get the sense for what's happening around you, even though it was outside, like all of a sudden the the, the movement outside. I'm on the second floor. The movement outside suddenly changed. And I looked. And because everybody just kind of stopped and they're all looking. So there's a guy running around on the grass. Um, so which immediately gets your attention. So he's running around on the grass and the, other, the guards are running around him, like trying to corral him. And so finally, so now I'm now we're all up looking in the out. The, we're holding on the bars, looking out the window. <laughs> and, and he's like, so you got these guards and the guards kind of start to close in around him. And they get around him. And they're closing in and he's screaming and screaming and he's doing this and he's doing this, he's pulling his shirt off. And all of a sudden, oh, he yanked his shirt off. And I'm thinking like the way they're approaching him, like, does he have a knife? Like what's going on? And, and he's screaming and hollering. And all of a sudden he yanks his pants down. <laughs> now keep in mind, he was on K, he, had, he was on K2 and he had, you know, he, had, it was on, he thought he was on fire. So, but he, when he yanked his pants down, like the guards, like 
jumped back like this. Like, like, <laughs> like they, they were like, literally like there was an explosion and the guards all of a sudden went, Whoo! and then all of a sudden they looked at each other and they rushed him and grabbed him and threw him on the <laughs> They cuffed him and dragged him off screaming he's on fire. I mean, that's just like, we woke up in the middle of the night, like the other, we, you'd wake up, this happened once a week. Guys would wake up and they would start screaming. Like they would, they would go in the bathroom at night like you couldn't, like to me, I would go to the bathroom just before, like as soon as count was over, go straight to the, in the bathroom, use the bathroom and leave. You didn't want to go in the bathroom later. You didn't want to wake up at one in the morning or 1230 and go, go take a piss because there's guys are getting blowjobs. Guys are having, oh, it's, it's horrible. Keep in mind, there's tons of showers there. And the COs, you got like one CO for two units. So you, for wow. 360 guys, you've got. Yeah, that's 180 per unit. And, and there were a lot of homosexuals. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. And so you've got a bunch of, you got one CEO who, who basically every three or four hours he walks around and counts, right? Like, he, <laughs> you know. So, um, and, and they would, so you had two, two units, uh, uh, two units upstairs, two downstairs, two guards per unit. They can't watch the whole thing. They sit in there, they play. So you got like three and, and they have a lookout. Like they, these guards can't possibly come in here and catch you doing nothing. Right. Anyway. So, so, um, what I was going to say is guys would go in the bathroom and they just smoke and every once in a while they get a bad batch or have a, you know, they, you could smoke it Lots of guys smoked it plenty of times. They were like, I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's just like, I'm just getting high, you know? And then other guys would go in and smoke it. And the next thing you know, they're screaming at the top of their lungs or they they fall down and they're just laying there on the floor, twitching and trying to, trying to move. And, and guys are, you, they, you would literally see guys holding, got two guys holding a guy's leg, dragging him down the, down the, uh, the hallway to his cell. And then they'd pick him up and put him in a cell. Wow. I mean, in his bed, in his bunk and cover him up and just. Hope that he was okay in the morning. And he was, it was, it was horrible. But some guys would get there and they would start screaming. They like, they'd be in, they'd smoke it, go lay down in bed, and make it wake up fucking on fire and oh scream and hollering. And yeah, just, it was. And so you're sitting there and there's, they're all cubicles. So two cubes down. Yes. And this goes on for five minutes. You're sitting there, you've got your, your, your hands covered. Guys are trying to tell them, stop, 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 stop. Yes. Eventually, eventually the COs come. One guy comes down. He realizes, okay, nobody's, there's not a fight. He's just screaming. Then he, they get the other. So next thing you know, the lights are on. There's 10 COs. They pack him up. They put him on a stretcher. They take him away. What's so funny is how many times that would happen. And because other guys would see, oh, God, they're going to do a shakedown to try and find it. They would, knowing I have the same batch of K2 that you have. They would, they would, they would go, immediately go and smoke it. So now you got they 15 just, people screaming. Ah, ah, it's, it's like, what did you ah, think ah, was going to ah, happen? Ah, ah, ah. What did you think was going to happen? They just, they just took away Pookie. <laughs> and now you've got doo doo screaming. You've got white boy. You, you got old country. Yeah. You've got everybody screaming now. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it was just pure insanity up all night. It's oh God, that, and then listen, and in the morning, you got to get up. It's not like you say, "Listen, I I, I can't do it. I I gotta I, let me sleep in. We're gonna we're all gonna sleep in today. You know, we were all up late last night. They're like, <laughs> funny, <laughs> lights are on. Get out of the unit. I'm just like, oh God, you're out on the rec yard. It's everybody's talking about it. So what <laughs> happened? Oh my God, this is horrible. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Good times, <laughs> good moments, good moments. Only funny, only funny thing, and I don't think this was K two related, um, but we had a streaker, and the only reason I want to tell a story because it's it's hilarious because they, well, this guy wanted he wanted a, a mental transfer. He's right. like, I want to go to one of the hospitals. So he asked them, and like they were like, No, you're gonna be fine here. So then he took off his clothes and he'd run around the compound naked and they'd have to surround him and then the psychiatrist went and got him out of the shoe so on the third so they, like they wouldn't transfer like he was in arguments every day about get me out of here no so then he'd go back to the unit at lunchtime take off his clothes and run the compound <clears throat> the important part is on the third time right because i guess some of the seals were fast he <laughs> i can catch him let me do it he decided to oil down nice 
So he's oiling. So he's ne- he was in our unit, by the way. So he's in his room or wherever he was oiling down. And then he runs out. He's like, move, move, move. Like we're all, you know, we're waiting to go to chow, all standing by the door. And you hear, move, 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 move. If you look back and he, he's coming, he's butt naked and he runs out. And the CO's at the door that are there, move, 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 move. They, he runs out and runs on the compound. The, the ones at the, oh, I'm sorry. The ones at the door are just standing there. I go, you're not going to chase him? He goes, I was a cop for 20 years. I've already captured enough of naked people in my life. I'm done. So he's running on the compound. He's oiled up. So now they're chasing him. So just like you said, they're surrounding him. They want to get him. So they grab him and he slips out. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're, you know what I'm saying? They're reacting to the oil. <laughs> yeah, they're grabbing him. So, so one of the, we had a little short CO that just ran him down. Like he, like he's running this way and the short CO kind of corners him and, and tackles him. It's not really a tackle where he grabs him. It's like where he knocks him off his feet. Right. And so when he hits the grass, right, they're trying to grab him and he's slipping out. Well, the short CO is, has gotten him by the penis. Oh, my <laughs> God. And you don't even know that. Right. Because until he flips over. Now, I'm at the chow hall. So we're watching this as they're trying to surround him. So you see him grabbing him and he's trying to slip away because he's slipping out of everybody's grip. And he's got him by the penis and he flips over. That's when you see he has him by the penis because he's doing like this. He's pushing back. And you see the guy, shh, shh. <laughs> he immediately was like, ah! <laughs> but the other ones came and grabbed him up from the um, top of the body. And when they got him, they're like, he's oiled up, he's greased up. That was one of the, because the first two were funny, but the second one was hilarious, you know, because he's dodging them. The fact that he could slip out of their grip. I did not know that oil worked that well. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it works excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you grease up. That's why they do it in wrestling. It's an excellent deal. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking good about moments. <laughs> nice, good times. I was thinking about Palmer. Do you remember Palmer? White Palmer? That was my man. I wish I could have kept up with him. He was. He had been in, in prison uh, multiple times for bank robbery. Yes. This is a guy who told me this is an educated. white This is what bothers me. You're an educated white guy. How can you not make a living? Like, like he literally, remember why he went, he was yeah. a little off, yes. but he was smart. Very. Right. So he literally, here's what he, he robbed a bank. He would rob a bank with a, a note. They would give him three or four years. He'd go to prison. He'd get out, try and make, try and uh, uh, make a living. Couldn't do it. Go into a bank with a note. He'd get out. They'd give him five or six years. He'd get out again, try and make a living. And he told me, and I was like, why do you keep going back? To prison, and he goes. I just can't make a living. Like I can't support myself. I was like, "How is that possible?" He's like, "I just can't." I mean, I've tried. I get. I can't live on minimum wage. I just can't do it. And he's like, "But I know." So what do I do? I, I go and I rob a bank. And it was like, he turned himself in one time. Remember one time with the girls. The, 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 this time, the time he was in prison, he turned himself. Yes, in. yes, the last. And time. and um, he was upset about that conviction because. Mo, his prior convictions had been five years. They gave him 15 years for that last oh, one. Are you serious? Yeah, because before he was, he teetered on the edge of bank robbery and, and larceny. See, there's a very, fun, like I used to talk to him about his case. I always thought it was interesting. That was a very interesting argument. He said, I never robbed the bank. I committed larceny. He said, I used the bank's rules to obtain money. He goes, robbing the bank would be taking the money from the bank. Larceny is actually pro- procuring the money through the bank's rules. He showed me that in legal terms, and he's right. You know, the, the law requires banks, the FDIC requires that they do not put up any fight if people right. go in that bank and ask for money. Right. So when he wrote that note and he gives it to them, right, as long as he's not threatening, he's non-threatening, their rules require them to give him the money. Right. Okay. Right. So he, he teetered the line of what's threatening and what's not threatening. So the prosecutor, of course, told the teller to say that she felt her life was in danger. Okay. So now he, it's threatening. And right. so now it's a robbery and he got 15 years. Whereas the other three times he only got larceny because the teller didn't feel threatened because he was very courteous. He even records, he records himself when he goes up to her. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So okay. he could tell them, I never threatened her. 
Right. I, I never even that. used a harsh term. Yes. Yeah. I remember studying his case. I thought it was very interesting when he showed me that. I'm like, that's an interesting concept yeah. that you're I, fighting. I thought when you start talking, I thought I maybe I remembered it wrong. I was like, no, he gave him or no. But you're right. It, it wasn't threatening. Yeah. You know, and he was very he was adamant that he was non-threatening. But that's what he was. But yes, he couldn't make it. And, and he had this mental block where he's like, OK, I need to go away for three or four years and come back. He was in a mental hospital at one point, too, yes, wasn't he? Was. he? Yeah. Yes, he was. Didn't he even escape one time? He put on a bunch of clothes and climbed up over the fence? Not in... I don't, I don't know. If, I don't remember him telling me about escaping. I know he did extra time because he started... Uh, he was fighting guards. But he, he has some mental blocks. Well, he didn't seem like a fighter to me. But. He, he wasn't a fighter. He was, just, he was a puncher. <laughs> you know, they say something he didn't like, he'd punch him. Maybe not hard. I don't know. But, he, you know, he got a couple of charges, so... <laughs> Um, yeah. All right. We're, are we, what are we doing? We're, are we wrapping it up? Are We're we wrapping done? it up. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. So, <laughs> so if you like the video, do me a favor and subscribe, hit the bell, hit the notification, Beep. leave a comment for the algorithm, share the video to as many people as you possibly can, please. And, uh, also I have a Patreon account and I have merchandise T-shirts and cups. Can and I get one? Can why I get do one? I have a cup? You need a cup. Bro, you need to remind me. This is. Are you wearing it? No. It's so so corny. I'm sorry. I'm I mean, sorry. I have a cup. I need to order my own cup. It's disingenuous if I don't have my own stuff. You need your own right? stuff. I feel I'm embarrassed about that. So hide anyway, huh? I said hide your head. All right. So. <laughs> Do all that stuff, and we're good, and I appreciate it, and see ya. Later.